Hey Badminton World, it's Jeff and Henry here from Volant and the Badminton Podcast. We know you want this one and we're here to deliver. You ready? We assess rackets on four main metrics with a score out of 10 for each. They are feeling and handling, control, power and speed. Now in true leaning fashion, we found more information on this racket on retailer websites than on leanings website. And even then, it's not much. So we'll share what we found. This is the leaning Axe Force 90 Dragon Max. Just when you thought they were going to move on from the Axe Force range, another two in the series appear. So what have we got? This racket has a head heavy profile and slim and hard shaft at 6.2 millimeters. It also features a graphite called M50. And our sources tell us that this material is important in creating extra repulsion and bounce when hitting the shuttlecock. Mm. The racket's performance is further enhanced by the technical features of Leaning's patented technologies. The wing stabilizer, the box frame, HDF shock absorption, and something called the FRTP technology. Interesting. Mm. Now we tested the 83 gram or 4U version of this racket using x 65 string at 28 pounds. And yes, the x 65 string review is coming soon. Hmm, okay. So, how did it play? You can definitely feel the hard nature and stiffness of the racket when swinging through the air. And overall, it's what you would expect from a high-end leaning racket. It feels well built. Now, it's neither here nor there though. Certainly no wow factor when we picked it up. It's not the most forgiving of rackets either. And the shuttle really repelled off the string bed because of this. This combination with the racket stiffness took a while to get used to, and it definitely had a hard feeling on contact with the shuttle as well. As we both generally like more flex and a softer feel, we didn't feel that it was the easiest for shot control. Now for a racket labeled Dragon Max, you'd expect there to be heaps of firepower in your smashes. It's also head heavy and more on the powerful side, but it's certainly not the most powerful racket we've seen in this weight class and category of head heavy. A bit mm. disappointing actually. A little bit, yeah. For speed, we felt that it's one of the more sluggish rackets that we've used so far as well. Um, so getting into fast exchanges took a lot more effort than we're used to. And look, for how it looks, it looks pretty decent. Yeah, looks alright. Yeah. So for ratings, for feeling and handling, we gave this a 7.5 out of 10. And for shuttle control, 7 out of 10. For power, an 8. And for speed, bit sluggish, six and a half out of 10. Giving us a total of 29 out of 40. To be honest, we're a little bit disappointed with a rating with rating a dragon so low. Dragons are meant to be better than that. Powerful, right? <laughs> yeah. So who's this one for? Now this is for you offensive hard hitting players that have a consistent and stable game. Now in our opinion, the head heavy nature combined with the stiff shaft makes it suitable for an advanced singles player or an advanced rear court doubles player. Now we suggest being careful if you're choosing this racket when you're a defensive or front court net player because we think there are better options out there for you. In general, we feel that it's not a bad racket if you like slightly heavier, stiffer and hard feeling rackets overall. So what's the price tag like? This one is going to set you back around 349 Australian dollars. It's pretty exy. Yeah. And based on this, would we try, buy or deny? We think deny mm -mm. and recommend that if you're going to spend that much anyway and want to stick with leaning, you're better off getting the Axe Force 90 Tiger. See the link in the description below for our review on this one. But if you want to spend half as much, support the work that we do, and you're looking for a head heavy racket, then you really need to consider one of our Volant rackets, the Havoc S1. To be absolutely honest, we think it packs more power than this Axe Force 90 Dragon Max. The link to the website is in the description. So thanks for tuning into this one. Make sure you give that subscribe button some love and flick the crap out of the notification button before you go so you don't miss our future reviews and videos. Dragon. I'm actually a dragon in Chinese Zodiac, you know? Yeah. Mm. Nice. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye.